bar carts and holiday cocktails. I said cocktails, everybody. Sebastian Sender! Here we go. I like this very mad then of you even wearing an ascot. I love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, so we're going to do cocktails. Now, yeah. you and I don't drink very much, so no. it doesn't really know. Of course not. <laughs> so this is going to... But this is going to be fun because we're going to do three different types yeah. of carts. And I love bar carts because they have that classic elegance, but they're also really useful. Yes. The first one we're going to start with, this is called the Ernesto Bar Cart. It's from CB2. And this is really great because it's very apartment friendly or small space friendly. So it's small, it's compact. It's great because when you're not using it as a bar cart, mm -hmm. you can put all this stuff away and put, you know, a, a table lamp on it, some decor, et cetera, and it sure. fits in really well. Yeah. But then you can also use it for entertaining like we're doing today. And they've got all the accoutrements. All these beautiful accoutrements. Yeah. These are all from uh, a company called BYOB Cocktail Emporium here in Toronto, okay. who has like all these great accessories and stuff and has helped us out with this. So we're going to make cocktails for each cart that kind of matches the cart a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start um, with a cherry gin Collins. So it can be a cherry vodka gin Collins gin Collins. Ooh, yeah. So what we did was, okay, <laughs> is we started out with putting some mint and sugar mm -hmm. right here. Mint and just regular sugar? Just mint and sugar, white sugar, okay, right sugar? in the bottom there. Okay, sugar's on the bottom, okay, all right. Yeah. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of simple syrup. Okay, simple syrup? Simple syrup, which is basically sugar water. Okay. So we're gonna add a little bit of simple sugar, simple syrup. Just a touch. Just a touch, just for sweetness. Then we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. Then I'm gonna add some cherry gin. <laughs> so we all know about our flavored vodkas. Yes. Flavored gins are kind of the new thing right now. Are they? So we're going to add some cherry gin in there. Oh. We're going to add lots of cherry yeah, gin. Yeah, that's a lot of cherry gin. The more, gin. the better. That's then what we're going to do is going to muddle that up. Now, muddling is really important because it brings out all of the flavor of the mint. Yeah. Okay? So once that's well muddled, shake that off. And, oops, so not make too much of a mess here. And we're going to pour this over ice. You're going to love this. That's that's because you don't want little green bits in your teeth. No, nope, these are great. And <laughs> right? But we are going to add something, so you'll see. So we'll add okay. one like that. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh -huh. And finally, I'm going to add a little bit of a cherry. Got to have a cherry in there. Cherry garnish, yeah. right? There we right. go. Okay. Cherry and Jim Collins. Cherry Jim Collins. Cheers. Cocktail number one. Okay, cocktail number one. We start out strong. You start, start out really out strong. Absolutely. I'll be a little muddled if I keep drinking this. So yeah. the, that's wow. Okay. The good. End, that's really almost, good. We're, we're one third of the way. Gin is the new vodka, everybody. Gin is the new vodka. That's good. Now, one quick thing we're going to tell people a trick. If you do buy a, a, gar, a bar cart, yeah. and you want to make sure whether it's glass or whether it's mirror, so yeah. it doesn't get scratched, what you want to try and do is make sure you've got little tack-ons like this. Oh, this is a little good. trick. I have the clear ones. Those are great. These are fantastic. Yeah. You know what? If you have a, a tray like this, then it's perfect. Yeah. If not, use little um, pads on them. If not, what you're going to find is you're going to get scratches, yes. and then it's going to look, it won't look quite as beautiful right. as when you got it. Okay, so good one. I like trick. that. I love this whole look. So, and I like that, too. The it all looks good, very huh? good. Next okay, up. Next up. So this is the Nori um, bar cart. A little larger space. A little bit more space. This is from Mobilia. And what we're going to do here is we're going to get... What I like about this is antique, but it kind of has a modern feel to it. Yeah. And we've done lots of the brass accessories. And Copper. Copper accessories, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to make up a cocktail here uh -huh. that is going to be um, a vodka fizz. Okay. So, like a gin fizz, but we're going to make this with vodka. And you came up with the gin, you came up with this because of the antique. With well, the, we wanted something that was inspired. a bit more of a classic cocktail. So okay. we have fig in there, et cetera. So it's a little bit of a retro. It's a okay. little bit, kind of like a prohibition style, the golden age of cocktails. Look at what they did with the fig. Okay, look at the fig. Is that beautiful? Hey, look at how, he, that is amazing. So we're going to add. Isn't that great? Ooh. Ah, I know. Isn't that great? It's so pretty. So what are we doing? We're mixing We're a gonna add, vodka? Yeah, a good measure of vodka. A good measure. A good measure of vodka. A good measure. <laughs> this fine man made me a vodka this weekend, and it was wow. It had a good measure of vodka <laughs> in it, of course. a good measure of vodka. Then what I'm going to add is add, this is actually fig puree. So we're going to add so some what fig do you, puree. So how do you do that? You just get well, the... you can either puree the figs yourself, oh. or you can actually buy fig puree, or quite frankly, if you get a fig jam, that'll work just as well oh, okay. as we're mixing okay. it. So we got some of that in there. Okay. I'm adding lemon juice again. Just a little bit of lemon juice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be at, this is a simple syrup, but we've infused this with tarragon. Rosemary, sorry. Okay. I'm going to put that together. Mm -hmm. Finally, 
This is the piece de resistance. This is a bitters. So bitters are really hot right now, and they add a little bit of a taste to a cocktail without adding too much product. What, so what is it, though? It's a bitters is basically a really highly concentrated alcohol. Okay. So in this case, it's a lemon. It comes in different flavors. So it's infused with lemon, this one. Yes, okay. it is. So, so what we do, do a is couple drops? we're just going to do three drops. I saw go. five and a half, but no, 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 I wasn't was three. Was three. Five and a half, too. Well, I put a bit more vodka, so I had to balance <laughs> it out, right? Then, okay. finally, what we're yeah. going to do is we're going to shake this up. We thought the first one was strong. Okay? Yep. Then what we're going to we go. do... Good luck, everybody. I'm going to pour this. Yeah. And I'm going to let a little bit of the ice fall into the glass here, just to keep it nice and cool. Isn't that pretty? Do the other one, too. That's so nice. Of course. We're both going to have one now. We are. No. Yeah. Okay. Look at how pretty Wait, this is. Wait, before we okay. finish, okay. sorry. Oh. One last thing. Just yeah. a bit of soda water. Oh, thank you. Thank there you for diluting go. it. There we go. A just dilution. a little bit, not too much. Not too much, Sebastian. Here we go. Happy holidays to you before we Cheers. go to part three. Look how pretty. Cheers. Mm. That's good. That's good, isn't it? It's good. It's good. This is very good. Very different. I like it. The we're going to come back and finish them all later. We're going to go to Hawaii now. Yeah, so now we're going to go glitz and glam. And again, um, the, the, our friends at uh, BYOB Cocktail Emporium did an awesome job of getting they us all did. these great items and stuff. Really nice. So we're doing a little bit of Hawaiian-themed Christmas, which is called... Malakaliki Maka. Okay, I've tried for like three days to say that, and I can't get it. Malakaliki Maka. Oh, I got Mal it. You got it! I got it. High Yay! five. There we go. Okay. So... Very like the golden age, everything's glitz and Pretty. glammy and everything. Nice. It's just gorgeous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a Mai Tai. Okay. Okay. But I like this card. That's really Isn't nice. It beautiful? Isn't it? It's gorgeous. So okay. this is great. And also all the accessories that we've done, like I'll show you when we mix this up for you, you can actually yeah. lift this right off. See? Oh look Isn't at that. Is that beautiful with Did the you pineapple? See that, Chris? Let's do it again. One, okay, wait a minute. Ready? Two, two three. three. Look at that. So there's a stand for it. Yeah. And then you put it back. And on it's also the flat, so there you can That's still put great. it on the table like that. I like that. That's cool. Great. So what All we're right. gonna do is we're gonna mix up a mai tai. So I've actually already added into here the uh -huh. alcohol. So there's um, dark rum, uh -huh. coconut rum, Malibu. We got a little bit of um, uh, Cointreau, and we have a bit of almond liquor, amaretto. But the trick to this, the real big trick, <laughs> lots of booze. Hold it's on, wait. I'm just seeing. This is the non-alcoholic. <laughs> I'm gonna add something called. It's called orjat. Orjat. Okay? Orjat is an almond-based syrup. Uh -huh. And it's what you, is used in a lot of Hawaiian drinks to give it a bit of that flavor. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Orjat. Where can you find Orjat? You can get it at BYOB Cocktail and okay. Emporium, or you can also find it sometimes online in some higher-end grocery stores. Okay, very okay? good. Orjat. It's so, all going to be on Maryland.ca. Yeah. You know that, right? Then what we're going to do is we're going to add our pineapple juice. Uh-huh. That's taking us now. We're really in Hawaii. Yep. And our orange juice. We don't want to add too much because we don't want to dilute the alcohol. <laughs> Heaven forbid. Heaven forbid. Yeah. God forbid. I'm gonna shake that up. Uh huh. And we're gonna make you. There's something about drinking out of a pineapple <laughs> and it's a bamboo just... straw. Yeah, but it's not just any pineapple. Look at it. It's a yeah. golden pineapple. It's a golden pineapple. It's a golden pineapple. Okay, Melakaliki Maka! Wow, thank you, Sebastian. Happy holidays. Really great. Here's designer Joel Gray from House and Home Magazine with holiday decorating ideas you're going to love. Okay, Malakaliki Maka. Good, huh?